Hi. Well, I'm in a different position today. I thought, as I was making the tea, I um, would jump on and show you how I make my broccoli and stilton soup. Just give people a few minutes to see who comes on. Because I don't actually just want to do a, like, a cookery lesson. But, oh, hi, ladies. Give us a thumbs up if you can hear us clearly and it's not um, going a bit funny. It's just because sometimes my Wi-Fi doesn't work when I'm in the kitchen. So just give us a star. That means, yes, it's, it's going good. Lovely. Thank you. Right. So let's get cooking with Jalzy. Well, the reason why I thought I'd jump on and do a live was because years ago we had a cafe up in Berwick. It's Scremiston. And I became the cook there. Um, and for people who know me, I couldn't cook. I couldn't even, I wouldn't have even known what to do in the kitchen. Anyway, we got a cafe and I soon realised that I needed to learn how to cook. So my friend who I used to work for in the pub came up and showed us how to uh, cook. So I said to Michael before, what do you fancy for tea? He says, I fancy a bowl of soup. And I says, all right, well, I'll tell you what, I'll make broccoli and stilton soup. And I thought, you know what? I've never probably told you this story, but this is my claim to fame. So as, as I tell the story, I'm going to make my version of how I do a quick soup. Onions, already chopped, diced from Aldi. Because otherwise you've got to wear glasses to cut your onions because you cry. Anyway, stop being silly. So, yes, so every day we'll have a soup of the day and we would have, um, say, lentil, we'd have vegetables, we'd have um, jack potato soup, um, we'd have um, mushroom soup, anything, you name it, I would make daily a fresh pan of soup every day. So this one day I decided I was making broccoli and stilton soup and the Duke of Northumberland... Um, his chef, his mum, that sounds very complicated, but the, the mum of the chef who worked for the Duke of Northumberland came into our cafe and um, ordered a soup of the day with a panini. So the soup of the day obviously was the broccoli and stilton. And <laughs> we served it. And she thought, is this out of a tin? And Michael, he did front of house and he was like, no, this isn't out of a tin. He says, my wife makes all the soups. She was like, you are joking me. And he was like, no, is there a problem with it? She was like, no, not at all, anything but really. She says, my son is the chef for the Duke of Northumberland. She says, and he makes all the different things. What's that? Stop saying so. <laughs> So, I'm getting wrong for saying so. I've got an audience behind us. So, I'll just wind them up. Um, I know. So what they said was that he, I'll start again. So the, the lady had said that her son was the chef to the Duke of Northumberland and she made, he made all of the, the foods. And that was the best soup she had ever, ever had in her entire life. So there you go. People used to always think my soup was out of a tin. And you know what? I have no real talent of making soup. It's all pretty much out of bags, stock. But in the, in the cafe though, when we used to buy from breaks, we used to use bullion mix, which is like your stock, which that, in all honesty, makes a lot of your flavour because it's got all the stock and the basis of all the, the seasoning and everything in. So, but obviously I haven't got bullion today. I've just got chicken stock cubes and I'm gonna put um, a vegetable one in, I think. Put a vegetable one in. So yes, you need my recipe. Oh, it is so easy, Lindsay. Onions, broccoli, and then stilton. And that'll be what it is. And we're gonna have some hot crusty bread with it. Um, but as you can hear, should I do a bit like an Angela, uh, Angela, what's her name? Nigella. So, I 
I've just gone to the stock cupboard and got out our stock cube. I'm going to put it in. Got some bullion in the cupboard. Well, I've just got some stock cubes, Jill. <laughs> now, Jill, I eat your heart about eh? So, literally, honestly, you will find, if you could smell, it's beautiful. So there's honestly no great rocket science to me and um, broccoli and stilton soup, but it is a um, pretty decent soup. And we're looking forward to it tonight. Just sorting the onions there at the moment. <laughs> well, so I'm now pouring the stock into the onions. So this doesn't actually even have to be like a thick soup because the cheese, when you put your cheese in, that will actually, um, it thickens it, it gives it a bit of a thickening agent. Just frozen broccoli, nothing special. I'm actually starving, we had our dinner at 12 o'clock today, so this is like a late tea. You burn everything. You can't burn soup. You could never burn soup. I tell you what, I've got a chef on as well, my friend Craig, he's watching. He's a packet chef as well. Well done, Claire. Get some soup made. Especially because it's January and we'll both be doing all our exercises. Because this year we'll be saying we're not going on holiday fat. And we'll still go on holiday the same as what we are now, we're pet. But no, soup, soup, soup. Right. So, that basically just takes, what, 20 minutes? Not even that. So we'll just let it bubble on and we'll start asking, what's your favourite soup? Who else likes to make soup? Don't leave me hanging. Apart from this, I like making mushroom soup and I like making lentil and bacon soup. I do like that as well. Is anybody going to tell us what soup they like? Tomato and basil, that's often a favourite. That's my mum's favourite soup, tomato and basil. Howie, don't be shy folks. Oh yes, curry parsnip soup, I used to do that as well. That's a really good winter soup with a dollop of, um, oh leek and potato is like me worst. I love leeks and I love potatoes but I hate them in a soup. I know, I'm not a chef, but I know how to make a meal of things. <laughs> lentil and bacon, Nicola, I'm with you on that one. That's one of my favourite lentil and bacon, especially with crusty bread. And nowadays, you don't even have to really steep all your lentils and things. You can just whap it in the pan and make them. I love broth, lentil and bacon. Right, so Sharon, when you make your broth, do you actually do it with a gammon joint and do you do all that? Or do you just whap it in the pan with like ham or something? Oh, butternut squash. Oh, and chilli soup. Or do you do butternut squash and chilli together? Yeah. Oh, I bet that sounds nice. I like butternut squash. I like roasted pepper as well. It's a uh, soup. You forget how easy it really is, don't you? And it's the time of year that you can actually make a lovely soup. What would anybody think of uh, that cold tomato soup? I don't know what that's called. Capaccio or something. Jill, Jill Kirkley, you know what it's called. Cold tomato soup. You burn soup. You can't burn soup, Lindsay man. Nobody can burn soup. You might burn the bread that goes with the soup, but you don't burn soup. Jill Kirkley, are you still there? Hence why you've started. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So for the people who are just joining, I'm busy making some broccoli and stilton soup for tonight's tea. Oh yeah, send the recipe, that'll be lovely. <laughs> well, I haven't actually seen Leanne pop on yet, so she'll be over here first if she can. Celery and stilton soup, oh Michael would love that. I'm not a celery lover, but I would eat it in a soup. Ooh, nice. 
leek and potatoes and a tub of peas pudding. Oh, well, yes, the peas pudding one. We used to do that for the Slimming World, didn't we? I'm not sure if peas pudding Slimming Worlds. Yes. Thanks, Jill. I knew you would know it was Caspaccio. Don't know if I would like that. But mind, I like Bloody Mary, so the chances are I probably would eat cold soup. So, yes. Sunday night. How the... The new Julianne rules. <laughs> this is all now since Michael's got uh, his job and he starts so early on a Sunday, on a Monday morning. We don't have a drink on a Sunday now, so it's very good. So it's been a bit day of self care and a day of doing my boogie bounce. Not happy with that top. Go and change it. <laughs> no, it's my pajama top. It's actually matching as well. I've got matching bottoms on. Craig's only saying that because the last time, well, the first time I ever did a live, I didn't like what I looked like, so I went and got changed. But I didn't realise I was still on live. And then I obviously got changed, and I could see all these comments coming up. And Ryan was like, oh, my God, Mum, you're still live and you're naked. I was like, oh, my God. Could only happen to me. A naked live. So, I better get back to me, um, Nigella. But now... So I just thought I'd do the dishes as well while I'm in here. So I am going to blitz this soup, but before I blitz it, I'm gonna actually just plop that in and then it it gives, honestly, if you could smell it. I know it's only onions and broccoli, but whatever you put onions with just smells absolutely mint. Oh, I know that was true, Claire, it really was. It could only happen to me. I was like, oh. never mind. That's what they say about lives. You should never work with children, should you? Yeah. Hello, Diane. How, how are you doing? How's life? Is it snowing where you are at the moment? Up in Jedbra? We're just on about cooking soup. Oh. I don't know about you, but I'm very clumsy as well in the kitchen. I was walking through the other day and um, I was bringing the candle through and I was like a nervous wreck and I was like that and I dropped it and it just like went all over the kitchen and it was like wax instantly hard everywhere. Michael just went, get out, I'll sort it. I was like, oh my God, I am very, very clumsy. So to be fair, that's not very far away. So, from opening, say, a tin of soup to doing this. Onions, stock, broccoli, bit of cheese, bit of pepper. In fact, I'm going to um, actually put the, the bread in so we can have some hot toasted bread with le pack butter. <laughs> in the words of Nigella, I'm just going to put this in out of the store cupboard. I will check how long I have to leave that in for, like, but, um, 10 to 12 minutes. So that'll be just in time for our soup to be ready. So I'm going to use Michael's bullet to, um, blitz the soup. I know I was going to say, he's shouting in the background, good job, it's not my bullet. For those that know us from the Anne Summers Day. I don't think the soup and the bullet would go in any combination. Right, um, as you can see, always prepared, sorting everything out. Hi Emma, how are you doing? Thank you for joining. Cookery lesson with Julianne, and we're doing broccoli and stilton soup today. You're hungry watching us now. Okay, well, that'll be fine. But you'll have to eat it outside. It'll have to be like the soup kitchen, Victoria, because Boris won't let us see each other. Okay? We'll get the soup spoons out. I'm going to do it all posh. <laughs> right. Where else? Where am I up to? Bullet. So, for the life of Facebook, this is the Nutribullet. Um, this is just something I had in the store cupboard. <laughs> I'm sure Nigella does it far better than me. I'm just going to turn that down because, to be fair, it's not far off. 
Um, I made soup yesterday, roast dinner today with homemade yogurt. You're just smashing the mummy goals, Natalie Brack. Smashing the mummy goals. What kind of soup did you make yesterday? I'll have to make more if you all want some because there's only really, to be fair, enough for me, Michael. But you don't really have to cut the cheese up, but we like it really creamy, cheesy. And like I say, because I've done my exercise today, I'm going to treat myself. That's it. Mm. Not everybody likes Stilton. So you could probably put cheddar in. Or you could put in, you know, another creamy type soup. Carrot, leek and potato. Ooh. Very nice. That's the best thing about soup though, isn't it? You just, whatever's in your store cupboard, isn't it? Or in your fridge. Or leftover vegetables from your Sunday lunch and things. So that literally just gets itself melted and it goes really, really cream, creamy. I will show you in my pan. Can you see? And then when it blitzed, it's gonna be all, all delicious. I hope you're still on. Yeah, I've just knocked you off, but you'll come straight back on. Real best thing keto diet is all the cheese and broccoli you want. Oh my God, well, there you go. If you are on the keto diet, like the advert goes, this I'll be on the keto diet the night. I'll do the keto diet. Oh, it really does smell amazing. Do you know what? I'm just going to put that little bit in because I'm kidding myself thinking. I will, darling. Thank you very much for watching, Claire. I do appreciate it. It's nice when people pop on and say hello, especially in the busy Sunday routine. Oh, back to work tomorrow. Woo um, still don't know if kids are meant to go back to school or not. It's a bit of a funny one for me because I'm not sure if I really want to send Ryan. Um, with all the numbers and things, I know everyone's got their own opinions about it, but... Um, Followed by chocolate biscuits. <laughs> Best keto diet going, darling. Very good. So I'm um, I'm in a bit of a quandary at the moment whether I'm going to send him back next week or give it another week. I might phone the school on Tuesday and speak to the headmistress and see what we're doing. But this is nearly ready to go in. Bear with me. I'm going to plug you in. And I just need another pan out to transfer. How's my bread doing? You see, I forgot about my bread. Oh, that's fucking lovely. Um, bit of lure pack already put in. <laughs> Don't forget your bread, she's just said. Yes, I've just done it. I've just checked it, doll. I haven't got soup bowls, I'll just have to use some pasta bowls. But I really didn't plan this, I was just jumping on and I've seen that I was going to do it. Packet of soup mix, bacon pieces, potato, salt and pepper and blitz. Well, you can't go far wrong with that soup then, can you? Yeah, Kerry, I'm thinking you do what you think's best as well. Um, I just think it's a little bit strange that in March... All the numbers were what they were. Today, all the numbers are what they are. But the kids weren't to go to school then, and now they've got to go to school, and I'm just, I don't know. It's bringing a bit of my anxiety on, to be fair. I just think, I don't think I can cope with it. And I know everyone's got their own issues and things, but. So, really, we should let this cool a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is not fill it too full, okay? Mmm. It does at this moment smell a bit like sweaty socks, but it will be delicious. <laughs> Could you imagine if they were a booby mould? Well, it's not like this is good. I 
don't know if anyone's got one of these neutral bullets, but they're dead versatile because we do all our smoothies in it. We do all of our curries. We do everything, to be fair. Oh, look, right. How am I going to do this? Because Nigella doesn't have this problem. She has a cameraman, doesn't she? Right. So, pouring it in. Oh, hang on. Look at the consistency of that. So that's got actually no flour, no nothing in, just cheese, obviously, to give it its thickness. And wow. <laughs> so, oh my Lord, who's coming over for a bit of soup, eh? I bet you all go off and make some soup now. But yeah. Oh, hiya, Kay. Kay, I was just wondering about you. Are you feeling any better, darling? Kay's had the dreaded COVID over Christmas. I do hope you're feeling better, darling. Send my love. Oh, the bread. There we go. Beautiful. I didn't make the bread, by the way. In case you uh, think I was making bread, I haven't made the bread. I'm making soup too, yeah. Oh, Rachel in Portugal, what kind of soup are you making, my friend? Wait, wait, I think that there's like a delay in the chat, to be fair. So we need to see what Rachel's making in Portugal. Where's the bread from then? The bread's from my store cupboard, but I originally bought it from Aldi. <laughs> Did you like that? It is actually, it's gonna be nice with low pack butter. Exactly, it's gonna be absolutely delish. So just pouring a little bit more in. So this is the version. Can you see how creamy that looks? Okay. It smells delicious to be fair. I can't wait to eat it. So that's the bread, Victoria. That's the bread. Are you and Craig gonna get up and make some soup now? Pour it all vegetable. But you could juju -ju it up there, Rachel, couldn't you? How could we juju -ju up the vegetable soup? You could put some um, Cajun pepper in and that. You can make it a bit um, of a different one, couldn't you? Or ca cayenne pepper, sorry, not Cajun pepper. <laughs> oh, Lurpak's the future, Emma. You've got to have Lurpak. And even if you can't get low pack, the Aldi version is just as good. But our war Asda had it on special, the real low pack, so I checked myself. Oh, I can just always make it for you, Victoria. I'm surprised I haven't seen our Leanne text us saying. been on because it doesn't really tell you but that's basically your nice hot warm bread and then your stilton and broccoli soup i'll show you it and that's it the dishes are nice and ready there for michael <sighs> look at this wait you see it honestly can you see there we go. How delicious does that look? I'm gonna give it a little taste. I'm gonna do, oh, I didn't even know you could do that. How do I have done that? Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. So I'm gonna have a little taste of it. And then after you've all cooked it, you just simply eat it. 
Oh, that is really good to lush. <laughs> I wouldn't imagine that the chef... Oh, my God, Michael. No, I'm busy. I'm the Are you? It's absolutely amazing. Mm. Well, if anybody would like um, any broccoli and stilton soup delivered, I'm taking the orders, so just give us a ring, okay? It really is. Oh, ladies. Well... That's it. I'm going to go for my tea with my hot bread um, and juice. Have a wonderful Sunday night. And 4th of January, bring it on. Let's all get back to work, get back to normal. Um, and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care, everybody. Oh, bye.